what we'll now do is do a deep dive through each section. First thing you see isn't actually a setting at all, it's your ride history, so everything you've ever ridden in full gas. Here you'll see a bunch of rides I've ridden. If you see them in here, you can click on them and you get a choice. You can view or upload the ride or you can delete it. So you might not need that data anymore, you just clean it out or view it. It gives you an option to upload again. So if you forgot to upload at the end of a ride or you simply want to see what you did last week, you can go and find out that here and do what you need to. Go to video settings. By default, full gas comes with 1080p being the default resolution. What you can do is bump that up to 4K if you love a great looking picture. If you're struggling with the streaming, getting very blotchy, you could experiment by turning off the HLS streaming, which is adaptive bitrate streaming. You can set up an extra folder or a hard drive for rides that you download. And you can see here rides we've downloaded. If you want to save some space, you can delete rides there. Really, the key to making full gas feel right is to make sure that it's got the same parameters that you use outside. And parameters is a big word, but really what we're saying is make sure you weigh the same, you've accounted for your bike, and you're not too streamlined or not streamlined. So in this case, that's wrong. I now weigh less than that. So I've changed my weight. That's in kilograms for me. I've got my bike weight. And in, in advanced, I can make sure I'm more or less streamlined. So usually we recommend leave rolling resistance alone. But if you're on a road bike and you're pretty racy in the threes is a good hint. If you're more recreational in the fours and if it's a time trial bike in the low twos. Workout settings. So if you know your FTP, put it in. If you don't know it, go and do our FTP test, you'll find that in the workout library. You can make sure that everything gets forced to erg mode um, if you're importing workouts. You can hide the gray chart in workouts, so you're saying to yourself, I'm just doing the workout, don't show me how steep the hills are. If you want to do that, tick that box, that'll happen. Increment lap on state change is a very fancy way of saying create a lap for every time it gets harder or easier during the workout. I would recommend turning that on. Virtual rider, Bernard, or Bernard, or Bernard, depends where you live. He's the person you can ride against, and he's the person making comments on your workouts as you ride. So you can set his um, FTP, or average power. Let's bump that up a bit, 200. You can go really advanced on that. So let's cover off Bernard's settings. He's either a very simple 200, or whatever you like, FTP, or you can say, Power on the flat is 200, but I'm going to make him very like a real life human. So I'm going to say he weighs 75, 77 kilograms. He's quite streamlined. And this is how much harder he's going to go uphill and he's going to start freewheeling on anything more than a 10% gradient downhill. So you can really program a very intelligent kind of opponent that doesn't just go at a constant rate. He can punch up the climbs really hard and freewheel downhill or he's quite consistent. On-screen feedback. He will give you tips as you ride. He will give you spoken feedback. He will give you an audible notification before he speaks, so a kind of beat before he speaks and a beat before workout instructions. If you struggle to read them quick enough, you can make the comments appear for longer. You can also adjust his voice. Now, the voice will depend on the platform you're on. So Android has different voices from iOS and Windows and so on. By clicking on them, you can listen to them. Some of them are quite creepy, but that's sort of fun. Um, that's how you configure Bernard. Next up, display settings. Quite crucial, really. So first up, do you want to see the elevation chart or keep things super clean? If you're riding, do you want to see how fast or slow you are compared to the original rider? Turn that on or off. Show Strava segments during the ride. Turn that on and off. Crucially, metric or imperial. Do you want kilometers an hour and kilometers for metric or miles for imperial? Power smoothing. I recommend you stick that on three. Zero just gets super difficult to understand and the larger numbers take a long time to react. 
three is generally what a bike computer would be set to. Um, there's a map you can use during the ride. I generally turn that off by default, but you can change that. We can disable the live race map. That's when you're racing other people. And I like to use the heads up display as my default view. You might like the bike computer that can be changed during the ride. And I usually set the size to auto because sometimes I'm using this on my computer. Sometimes I'm using it on my iPad. Sometimes it's the TV. Full gas will accommodate that appropriately. If you want to, you can show what direction you're going in or show the wind if you've got wind turned on, but that usually worry that's quite a sophisticated sort of real life situation modeling thing avatar customization if you're into avatars and there are some avatar rides in full gas you adjust that here you can go in here i've chosen my um hawaiian outfit and my name you can change my skin color my frame color um, socks, shoes, gloves, etc. etc. I can pick the, the Australian flag. Um, I was actually born in Wales, so I'm gonna go for a Welsh dragon instead. Look at that. And I might go for a yellow jersey with the Tour de France theme, but that clashes terribly with the socks. So let's go and change the socks to be white, more coordinated and so on and so forth. You can keep adjusting things and when you're happy with that, you can save that and that's what you will then look. Steady, reactive and challenge. So steady mode means that no matter how hard you try, you go at the speed the ride was filmed. Reactive, row, reactive mode is the default. So the harder you pedal, the faster everything goes. Challenge mode is reactive mode with other people to ride against. Single plan laps means that if you turn laps on, if you do anything from the loops or lap section, it goes round and round and round and round forever. If you turn that off, it just does one lap and stops. Your details. I'm logged in as me. I can log out. I can change my password. Performance settings. I put my weight in, I've got my bike weight in, in advanced settings, I can get things set up just right. So if you're very streamlined on a road bike, it's probably low threes. If you're on a time trial bike, it's probably low twos. Some people are even lower than that. But if you're a typical Ironman triathlete of mid of this sort of size, you're probably sort of like in the low to mid twos, no, point twos. As an average, you'd be riding around on a gravel bike, probably point four. Rolling resistance generally wouldn't touch it. Wind is just simulating headwinds and tailwinds. So if we look at that, you can turn it's off by default. You can turn it on and you can have like a stonking great wind from um, 240 degrees. So usually it wouldn't play with it. If you wanted to, you can. Advanced trainer settings. So slope limit. If you've got a trainer with the wheel still on, like the wheel turning on a roller, you would turn that potentially down to about 8% so that the wheel, we simulate the gradient with the trainer up until about 8%, then we stop, then you stop having those horrible wheel spin moments. Then we've got slope scaling. So the speed you go is still realistic, but the gradient we ask the trainer to replicate is lower. So for you, it just means you can pedal faster. So if you've got like a 30, four cog on your bike you ride outside, but your trainer's got a 28, lowering it down a bit, like for me, I often use 85%, just means that you've got more gears to play with indoors. It's not cheating, you don't go any faster, but it allows you to pedal at the right cadence up big hills. Same with downhill, um, I often set mine to zero. So basically when I'm riding in full gas, I get uphill riding to flat. It never tries to simulate downhill. Wheel circumference, generally speaking, don't change that unless you've got weird size wheels. Erg mode reaction time, the bigger the number, the sooner your trainer will react. So if you're finding when you're riding and elite trainers and what bikes are, well, notorious for this, they adjust much later and much more sluggishly than a Wahoo or a tax trainer. So if you've got a what bike Atom or an Elite Toretto Tribe, somewhere between three and five, 
That means the trainer gets told to change the resistance three to five seconds before you do. Um, it just makes things feel very, very snappy. You get into the end of the effort and it stops. And you go, oh, that was good. And you get towards the start of the next one. It starts early. Speed adjustment, don't touch that normally. Power adjustment, if you've got power pedals that for some reason are seeming to broadcast half the power they should or double, make that 50% or 200% and you'll be spot on. Connectivity, this takes you to the Full Gaze members website where you can log in and you can define what you would like to connect to. So go to partner, in, partner integrations. You can see here that I'm connected to Strava, today's plan and training peaks. I could also connect to Final Surge and Tridot at this point. We're adding new partners all the time. So that's where you do that. When you've done that, it will upload automatically to those platforms and so on. But uh, that's where you go and sort that stuff out. Update ride list. If we've told you about some great new ride and you can't find it, press that button and it pulls down a new list. And equally, if everything's gone really weird, um, press clear caches and that just wipes out everything Fullgaz has remembered about the rides and replaces them. So it doesn't wipe out your settings. It wipes out thumbnails, ride names, ride lists, and so on. And there you go. That's the settings in Fullgaz.